I'm going to be showing you how to get all the collectibles in the third level of Jurassic World Gigabytes within Funko Fusion. Let's get started. Okay, so up first on this one, we're going to grab the red weapon protopart because right at the start of this level, you're going to turn the corner. It's going to be this door with four locks on it. Shoot all those, and once you do that, there's going to be a bunch of enemies that attack you, but one of them should have the red weapon protopart. He's going to be glowing red. For me, he was just running straight into that fire. And then once we take him out, we can grab his weapon protopart and deposit it into the red mold machine. So pretty easy one there. Now we're going to move on to the green soda protopart. So I've already cleared out all the obstacles and enemies in this level just to make it a little bit easier for this guide. But for this one, you will need a charged battery. So I'm going to take this charged battery, take it through this little area that has all the fire. And we're going to have to use this trampoline to jump up over here to this ledge, deposit the battery in place. That's going to charge up the green chest, which you should then be able to open up, grab the green protopart, and deposit it into the green mold machine. Next is silver crown at number one. So if you turn around, there's going to be a silver chest out in the open here. But when you try to open it, there's going to be purple flames. So of course, there's going to be a bunch of enemies from all the different franchises attacking you all at once. So we're going to quickly take them out. Once you do that, you should be able to open up the chest and grab the very first silver crown that we're going to get for this level. And next up, we're going to grab the fossil or amber piece for this level. So if you just turn around in this room in the corner where this debris is, you can grab the fossil piece. And next up is going to be silver crown at number two. So what we need to do is grab a bounce pad, move it over here beneath this ledge, jump up, and we can destroy some of these boxes. And there is going to be silver crown at number two. Uh, nothing else you got to do for this one. So very simple. And silver crown number three is super simple as well. As long as you have Freddy Funko unlocked, so we're going to head over here to this pop box and switch over to Freddy Funko. Uh, if you don't have him unlocked, you just have to play through the main 35 levels of the game. And once you have him unlocked, you can use his like paintball ranged weapon on these green rainbow looking doors to open them up. And behind it is Silver Crown number 3. Open up the chest and grab that crown. And then next up is going to be Silver Crown number 4, and for this one we need to be playing as the number 5 character from the Umbrella Academy. So we're going to use this pop box to switch over to him, and there's going to be a yellow arrow on the ground over here, signifying that you can teleport through this door. Then on the other side you can pull the lever to open up the door for other characters. And there's going to be 4 switches in this kind of secret area that we need to pull within a short time frame to get this silver chest. But before we do that, we're going to have to set it up real quick by molding a bounce pad and placing it right here to reach a ledge. And over here, underneath these boxes, is going to be a, another yellow arrow, meaning that we can teleport there. So first off, let's go ahead and pull these switches. So the first one, we're going to use the bounce pad to jump up to that. Then quickly run over here, pull on this switch, and then use number five teleportation ability to jump up here to this ledge, pull on that switch. And then there's going to be another hidden uh, yellow arrow to teleport over here up to this ledge. And that's going to be where the final switch is located. And if you pulled all four of them within the time limit, it'll open up this silver chest, allowing you to grab silver crown number four. Silver crown number five is also going to be in this secret area. And for this one, we need to put gas canisters into two of these different slots. The first one is super simple. Just place the gas canister right there. And this next one is super tricky, and I believe this is the only way to do it. So you're going to have to mold a bounce pad. And we're going to use this bounce pad to jump up here with the first bounce pad that we put down for the previous silver crown. And we're going to put it over here onto this ledge. So we need to bounce over to that other side. But first, we need to go over here to the pop box and switch over to the Orko character from Masters of the Universe. He seems to be the only character that's capable of doing this. So now that we have Orko, we're going to mold ourselves another gas canister because we need to get a gas canister up on that ledge. And he seems to be the only one that can do this. So once we have the gas canister, we can pick it up with him. You can see here how he picks up items. He like levitates them above himself. And then we can use this second bounce pad to jump up and then dash over to this other area and you can place down the gas canister. So very tricky there. Uh, you won't be able to kind of get over to that ledge with other characters. And so once we do that, it'll drain out the black liquid and then you can grab silver crown number five. Next up is silver crown number six. And for this one, we need to find five different little mini dinosaurs throughout the level. So the first one's going to be right on top of that like electrical panel on the wall. And then we can use this bounce pad to jump up here to where one of these silver chests was located. And over here on top of this lighting fixture is going to be number two out of five. And then the last three little miniature dinosaurs are all going to be located where you fought the uh, big dinosaur, like Gigasaurus or whatever it's called, in this uh, big open area. 
So over here on the side of this cliff here is going to be number three out of five. And then number four out of five is going to be against the back wall here near the kind of entrance to this area. So up there on the ledge, pretty hidden is going to be where the fourth dinosaur is. And it's pretty tricky to shoot with the shotgun, but there we go, I finally got it from that range. And the fifth one is going to be over here near the exit where you insert the fun key later on. And so once you've destroyed all five of those little mini dinosaurs, behind this little obstacle here is going to be the silver chest, which you can now open up and grab silver crown number six. And next up, we're going to go ahead and grab the Foxo body part. It's just going to be over here in the corner within the boss arena. So super simple there. You don't need to do anything too crazy. And moving on to silver crown number seven, this is going to be for the vinyl shoot for this level. So once we have the fun key that you unlock after beating the boss, you can open up this door, head into here, and directly on your left is going to be the vinyl shoot. And it requires 25,000 vinyl. So go around the level, open up chest to get all that vinyl. And then you can grab Silver Crown number seven. And that just leaves the KFC bucket for this level. So at the very end, before you end the level, there's going to be a secret area right there that has the KFC bucket. I believe you can actually do a ground slam to kind of cheat it and get the KFC bucket through the wall. But we're going to use number five to teleport through the wall. And you can destroy the KFC bucket the proper way. So guys, that's going to be all the collectibles here in the Gigabytes level. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. Subscribe for more content like this. See you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.